trying not to think about how much time this all took to put up because it's coming down in like 30 seconds. <laughs> ah, it's a lot. A lot quicker than I thought it'd go down. It's true that I have thought about doing The Little Mermaid before. I think my, my biggest hesitation with it though was I was always scared of bringing that world to life on stage. I didn't know if it was possible. You literally need to pretend that you're underwater and to sell the illusion is uh, an undertaking. Over the summer, Ruth and I went to go see The Little Mermaid at uh, Beef and Boards. We were blown away. It was really, really well done. And there were so many things from that show that we were kind of like looking at each other like, we, we should try that. We should, we, okay, if we do this, this is, that's what we're gonna do. It was the lighting, it was the simple set pieces, but more than anything, it was the costumes. I know, Caroline, you're gonna try this one. It's also a nice scarf. <laughs> Didn't you have like a skirt on one year or something? You tried on a skirt for something. I tried on a pair of overalls. Yes, that was it. And I looked dashing. Yes, you did. Flashback. <laughs> Special shout out goes to Sharon Wright. She went oh, above and beyond to, to make alterations to these costumes to make sure that they fit our actors. She went above and beyond to say, what are you missing? What can I still make? You guys look beautiful. And I'll never forget the day when she arrived with just totes upon totes of just like materials. I felt a peace wash over me and I know over Joanna. Joanna and I are driving in this car and it is jam packed. Full of costumes. Full of <laughs> so Drew and I went over to Covenant after he had gotten contact with Krista Shields and we thought we'll get oh a couple of parts and pieces that we need but we went over there that day and came back with a car load and a truck load of things and just so incredibly blessed for the way that the theater community shares with each other. <laughs> this is just the first of many to come. Hello Bethesda Drama. We are building our walls. Four walls used to hide set prop. I remember thinking, you know, I have this sketch on this paper. How am I going to accurately describe it to my team? Out of the blue, BCS Theater alum Liz Biddle calls me up and says, Hey, can I make you a 3D model of your stage with the set that you want? <laughs> I'm like, absolutely you can. She was able to kind of give us a, a literal picture of what we had to work with, and I was able to show that to my design team, and we were able to come up with some practical ways of building all of these things. We had a meeting with parents. You know, we were asking, hey, we have needs for costumes. We have needs for set builders. You know, we have a lot of creative minds and people who know how to build things be able to come to our set builds and be like, Drew, explain your vision. And they're able to kind of tell me how those things are going to be possible and, and how to make the impossible possible. Sit Garrett's here. wearing a dress. <laughs> <laughs> I watched Ben Biddle do it forever and then I picked up some things. But you, the only way you can learn is just by doing it a little bit yourself. Sneak peek of the backstage tour of The Little Mermaid. Costumes. Please do not touch or use. <laughs> 
used in Annie very, very long time ago. This was used in Brendan's second musical, Bye Bye Birdie. Hi, Nancy. Right here is also another Peter Pan debut. Zoe Edwards made this Lost Boy cake. This is part of the hound costume in Hound of the Baskervilles. This is the moose that debuted in Nooses Off. We are in the depths of Ursula's lair in this Ignite room. But anyway, we decided that to set the mood, we were gonna turn the lights off and have them act out the scene, which is very sinister and dark. So they're literally going to act in the dark. Let's see how it goes. I should be here. Nonsense! We're family! We are here with the treacherous trio practice. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're here filming the intro into Ursula's lair. And then down. That looks really good, guys. If you run over me, I'm literally gonna. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> you just hit me. I'm loving this. I love their eyes. Say hi, Kelly. Kelly Isaacs, who works with my wife, is a theater junkie just like me. She's a director, she's an actress. She knows how to tell a story through makeup. She knows how to add so much character through makeup. And the kids were just blown away that we got that kind of talent in the show. We got together to do the promo shoot for um, the rest of the main characters, to see them all in their costumes, and then to see their makeup on. It was just amazing. I think if we get like <laughs> hair wax, do you know what I mean? And then we yes. can kind of do little. And I still think we should put some purple in there in the wig. Sure. Hey, this this is a moment right now. <laughs> Hello! Do you want to give Flounder a hug? Give Flounder a hug. Give me a hug. Oh, damn <laughs> And what was really fun was when everyone was done, they walked into the gym while Ruth and Bailey were working on choreography, and it was like an epic reveal every time someone went through the tunnel. <laughs> and like, the crowd went wild, you know, and that was just so, so fun to see every time someone walked through those, through that tunnel. Disney princess. <laughs> and I know I speak for the actors when I say that when they were in their final garb, their final look, and they and they got that reaction from the fellow cast and crew. They had that feeling of like, oh man, they actually see the character now. And that was a really cool moment for them. Let Poisson is not be our guest. Yes, right? it is. Yeah. No, it definitely it's not. is. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. it is. <laughs> Okay, okay, sing yeah. Le Poisson, the very first part. Sing it for me. Le Poisson. Now be our guest. Poisson. Be our guest. There you go. Once we had a lot of the major set pieces built and constructed, it was time to kind of start painting and set dressing. So what are we working on? We're painting the base of the rock. No $400 rocks, we love that. That is awesome. It's going great. We have a lot of stations happening. We have painting, we have cutting, costumes, lumber. I'm never able to work in one place for too long before someone's like, Drew, and I run over. But everyone else is getting things done, and that's what matters. <laughs> We've been expecting you. <laughs> have a phenomenal amount of costume work we got done today and each of them took a task to take home. It is taking a village for this one. The croc. It's beautiful, isn't it? It really is. No one can know that I took this. every time there was a part of the set that came together or I've seen the costumes come together. It makes the world of The Little Mermaid more and more clear because we cannot wait to show you the world of The Little Mermaid. It is special and it is something that will be remembered. People remember when they saw Peter Pan at Bethesda and I think that this show is going to be no different. Really
dun 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 dun